what is the value of x given that you have x plus 1 equals x then let's have it to be solution so defined through by x here will be x divided by x plus 1 divided by x equals x divided by x so this will cancel this we have 1 plus this will be 1 divided by x this will also will take away this we have 1 so taking this one to the other side so we are going to have 1 divided by x will be equals 1 minus 1 and this will give us 0. So we have 1 divided by x to be equals 0. This implies that x will be equals 1 divided by 0. And if x equals 1 divided by 0, this is undefined. So then also we can have x to be positive or negative infinity from this. Then how? Then let's see. Assume we have 10 divided by 2. This implies we have 10 divided by 2 equals 10 minus 2 because we have it to be 5 as it is like this. We want to prove how 1 divided by 0 equals positive or negative infinity by considering this ideology. So when we have 10 divided by 2 equals 5, but this is the analysis of everything. 10 divided by 2 equals 10 minus 2, which will give us 8. Let's pick this 8. We have 8 divided by 2, which will equals 6. Sorry, 8 minus 2 will give us 6. Let's also pick this 6. 6 divided by 2 cancel 6 minus 2. This will give us 4. When we also pick 4 divided by 2, this will be 4 minus 2. This will give us 2. When we pick this 2, 2 divided by 2, this will be 2 minus 2, which will cost 0. Now, what are, we trying, what are we trying to say? When we say 10 divided by 2, it means that how many bundle of 2 are we going to see in 5, which is, are we going to see in 10, which is 5? Now, that is why when we count this one, 1, this 2, this 3, this 4, 5. That is why we have this one to be 5. So, likewise happen when we have 1 divided by 0. This will be equals 1 minus 0. The way we do for this one, we have it to be equals 1. When you also pick this one, that we have 1 divided by 0, it will be also 1 minus 0. This will also be equals 1. When you also pick this one, it will be 1 divided by 0, which will be equals 1 minus 0. This will also give us 1. And that is why we are saying, as we are coming down like this, we are still going to have 1, 1 for this, to continue like this. So therefore, 1 divided by 0 will always give you infinity. It can be positive or negative. And that is why this idea here we refer to as undefined. Because it is not defined. It is not defined from here. So let's check another method. Let's say method 2. Just to prove that when we have x plus 1 equals x, the value of x equals positive or negative infinity. That is the point we are trying to make sense. Suppose we have x plus 1 equals x. Remember that we've proved that x will be equals positive or negative infinity because we believe that x equals 1 divided by 0. And 1 divided by 0 is undefined. So this undefined implies that the answer is positive or negative infinity. So another method that we can also use to prove, assume that we want to make it to be, to avoid the negativity. When we have x plus 1, make it to be power square, so we have it to be x square. Then, from here, the expansion of this one will give us x squared plus 2x 
plus one we equals x squared. So from here, when we collect the light terms, assume we have x squared plus two x plus one. Taking this, we have minus x squared, then everything equals zero. So from here, this and this we cancelled out. We have two x plus one will be equals zero. So we have two x equals zero minus one. So we have x, two x to be equals minus one. So dividing through by two, this will cancel this. So we have x to be equals minus one divided by two. This is the value of x. Now, to check for this, recall, no matter we have x plus 1 to be equals x. So, when we substitute this, we are going to have here to be minus 1 plus 1. Then, is it going to give us minus 1 over 2? So from here, here will be 2, here will be minus 1, plus this will be plus 2, then it's going to give us minus 1 over 2. So this will also be 1 over 2. Is it going to be equals minus 1 over 2? So we have this not to be equal to this. The only thing that can make this to be equal to this is when we take the square of both sides, that's what we did when we have x plus 1 to be equals x. We try to square the square of both sides as this. We define this function. So from here, here will be 1 divided by 2 to the power of 2. Then it's going to give us minus 1 in parentheses to the power of 2 divided by 2 to the power of 2. So from here, 1 divided by 2 to the power of 2 give us 4. Then it's going to give us this. When time when you have minus 1 to the power of even, this will give you plus 1. So this even 2. So here will be 1 divided by 2 to the power of 2 is 4. So this is equal to this. Suppose that we define it to be 1 x plus 1 in parentheses to the power of 2 to be equals x squared. But this is not justifiable. This is not justifiable. The one that is justifiable is this. Where we are able to prove that x equals 1 divided by 0 and it's undefined and this undefined meaning that the value of x will be positive or negative infinity and that is the meaning of undefined so if you are new here and find this video interesting don't forget to share like comment and subscribe to our youtube channel for more mass tutorial videos bye bye